Hey everybody, good evening. It's just about 7.30 and I'm gonna be doing a guided meditation and then some channeling this evening. Um, just wanna send out prayers and love and blessings to all of you that are out there dealing with various and sundry versions of uh, what this quarantine and, and what this virus has been like. Um, hey Alex. Uh, I um I love you. I uh, had um, a friend who ended up on the news. He was a ER doctor in New York City, and um, Frank passed away from uh, from the illness. He got sick on Thursday, and by Tuesday he was gone. And he had just been married, had a beautiful husband. Um, unfortunately, he had the same mask on for five days. Uh, they didn't have enough, so you know there. I just saw this beautiful video that came out of um, the Czech Republic and they were talking about how they have this really low incident uh, of the virus and one of the reasons is because everybody's wearing face masks so my mom and uh, and her boyfriend and I all have face masks in the house and um, we each have different colors so we're not wearing each other's masks and you know we're just we're staying in unless we're taking walks out so um, you know let's all just do what we can and my love and prayers for those of you who are on the front lines and uh, having to be out there and, you know, deal with this every single day. Those of you who are in the food service industries and those of you who are working in the medical facilities, uh, everybody else who's out there, God bless you. Um, my love and my prayers are with you. So I invite everybody to get a comfortable seat and to allow yourselves to feel centered and grounded wherever it is that you're sitting. Take a nice breath in and with your exhale, go ahead and close your eyes. Begin to focus on your breath. Take a nice breath in through your nose. It's a little cooler as it comes in. Take a nice inhale. Pause for a moment at the top and then let, let a nice, long, slow exhale come out of your mouth. Let that exhale be longer and slower than the inhale. Another inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Another nice draw of breath in through your nose. Let it fill you completely. Let it go from the top of your head all the way down through your torso. Pause for a moment at the top and then exhale and release through your mouth. Every time that you slow your exhale, you're taking yourself out of the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight. Take another nice inhale in. Pause, exhale, release. And by lengthening that exhale, you're moving yourself into your parasympathetic nervous system, which means that you've begun to calm down. The breath controls the mind. And when you put your focus on your breath, take a nice inhale in. Exhale, release. When you begin to focus on your breathing, you've begun You've begun to quiet your mind. Now I'd like you to imagine breathing in white light through your nose. Breathe in white light. Let it fill you up. And then I want you to exhale through your mouth any darkness, any worries, concerns, anxieties, thoughts, anything you've been nervous about, just let it all go. Breathe in white light. And then breathe out any darkness. Beautiful. Another nice breath in. Breathe in white light through your nose. Imagine it filling you completely. And go, go ahead and exhale, release any darkness right through your mouth. Beautiful. One more nice inhale of white light in through your nose. Exhale white through your mouth. Now 
Now I want you to imagine that you breathe in golden light through your nose. Breathe golden light in. Let it fill you completely. And then I want you to imagine that you exhale golden light right out through your mouth. Breathe in golden light. Exhale golden light. Breathe in golden light. Let it fill you up. A little more, breathe in, breathe in. Exhale golden light. Beautiful. Now I want you to imagine that you breathe that golden light into your heart. Take a nice inhale of golden light right into your heart. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine send a, sending a grounding cord straight down, right into the center of Earth. Shoot that golden grounding cord right into the center of Mother Earth. Take another inhale. And then with that exhale, let that golden grounding cord come right back to your heart. Beautiful. You are now grounded and tethered to the earth. Take another inhale in. And this time as you exhale, I want you to shoot that golden cord right up through the top of your head, right up into the heavens. Go right, right up, 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 up to the center of source. Take an inhale while there. And as you exhale, bring that golden cord right back down through the top of your head into your heart. You are now grounded both above and below. Beautiful. Take an inhale of light into the space between your eyebrows, your third eye. And as you exhale, come back a couple inches into the center of your head. And there's this vast cave known as the Cave of Brahman, the seat of your soul. Take another breath of light into the cave. Exhale, release. With your next inhale, I want you to move up to the top of your head. And with your exhale, I want you to just imagine that the top of your head opens up like a flower. Open up the crown of your head. Beautiful. Take another inhale. And with your exhale, about 8 to 10 inches above your head is this gorgeous golden ball of energy. It's another chakra, another energy center that contains the Mahatma energy. It's like a galactic gateway, it connects us to spirit. Take an inhale, and with your exhale, let the golden light of the Mahatma pour right down into the top of your head. Let that beautiful golden light begin to melt down over the top of your head, and it's first gonna come across your pineal gland. Feel that golden light completely soothe the top of your head. The energy center there is a beautiful violet color, the crown chakra, your connection to spirit. Take another inhale and then with your exhale bring that golden light down to your third eye, to that space in the cave of Brahman. The color there is a deep, rich indigo blue, like a cobalt blue. That's where your pituitary gland is. The gland in your body that's made of crystal helps you with your inner vision, your intuition. Take another inhale. And with your exhale, let that golden light continue to flow down your head and come to your throat and to your mouth. 
The color of the energy there is a light blue, your throat chakra. Center of communication. It sits right there between the mind and the heart. And I heard it said by a very wise man that love is a function of communication. The cleaner that your throat chakra is, the more you are able to tell the truth. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, bring that golden light down over your shoulders and they come to your collarbone and your higher heart chakra. The energy color there is turquoise. It's where your thalamus gland is. By the way, your thyroid gland is in your throat. That beautiful golden Mahatma energy is completely bathing your thyroid gland, comes down to your thalamus. Take another inhale. And with that exhale, let the golden light flow down over your back, over your chest, over your arms. Feel that golden light flow down your arms, over your biceps and your triceps. It flows down to your elbows. Take another inhale. Bring that golden light down over your forearms, to your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Beautiful. Take another inhale. And with your exhale, let that golden light flow down over your chest to your beautiful, tender, and loving heart. The energy center there is beautiful emerald green. Take another inhale. And with your exhale, let that golden light flow down over your back and it comes to your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands manage the stress in your body. So by letting them be bathed in this golden light, they're gonna relax. They'll be revitalized. Take another inhale. And with this exhale, bring the golden light down to your pancreas and to your digestive organs. The energy center that you're gonna meet there is your solar plexus. Color there is yellow. This is your center of personal will, willpower, your courage. Take another inhale. And with your exhale, bring that golden light down over your waist, over your hips. About a couple inches beneath your belly button is another energy center. It's your sacral chakra center of creativity, your core. Whether or not you have your organs, the energy of them are there, your reproductive organs. Let them be bathed and soothed by this beautiful golden light of the Mahatma. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, bring that golden light all the way down to your hips, over your buttocks, to the base of your spine, to your perineum, there is a gorgeous red energy center there, your root chakra. It provides you with grounding and feeling centered, family, home. Take another inhale. And with that exhale, let that golden light flow down over your buttocks, over your bottom, over your quads, over your glutes, down towards your knees. With another inhale, the exhale lets that golden light cascade over your knees like a waterfall it comes down your shins in the front and your calves in the back, down to your ankles, to your feet, to the soles of your feet and the tops of your feet all the way down to your tender little toes. Your entire body is now bathed in this gorgeous golden light of the Mahatma energy, which is actually... Take another inhale. And with an exhale, I want you to find yourself on the edge of a forest. This forest is known as the forest of spirit. 
And this is your personal forest. This is where you come to get rejuvenated. The forest is fresh and it's clean and it's safe. And you notice that there's a path in the middle of the forest and you walk down it. And then you come to a clearing where there is this gorgeous, majestic tree. This tree is your tree of life. She is here for you. As you approach her, she reaches her branches down to embrace you. And as you hug her, she tells you that you can bring any of your cares, any of your worries and any of your concerns to her and she will absorb them. She will transmute them through a process of spiritual photosynthesis. She'll turn them back into white light and return them right back to source. So bring your cares, bring your worries, and bring your concerns to this beautiful tree of life. On her leaves are written the pages of your Akashic records, the story of your journey through time and space. Feel the love that she has for you and the warmth of her embrace. Take a nice breath in and then with your exhale, feel her release. You can bow to her in appreciation if you'd like. And please continue down the path. As you walk further down the path in the forest, you actually come to a clearing that's a beautiful garden. As you step into the garden, you realize that this is your garden of spirit. There's a path down the middle of the garden that leads to a stone wall that has a wooden door with golden hinges on it. In the garden is a throne that belongs to you. There's a very long bench where guests can come and rest. There's an area where there's sunshine and then there's an area where there's tree that provides shade. Across from the chair is a mirror, a huge mirror that allows you to see above your head and below your feet. You walk over to this mirror and as you gaze upon yourself in the mirror, you look deeply into your own eyes. We're going to say the prayer of forgiveness together. It is known as the prayer of Ho'oponopono. It has four, four very simple lines. Look deeply into your eyes, which are the windows to your soul, and say, I'm sorry. See if you can allow yourself to apologize to yourself. Next say, Please forgive me. Allow yourself to feel the forgiveness that would be granted to you by your own self. Next, say thank you. Show yourself appreciation. And next, Tell yourself, I love you. Beautiful. Next to the mirror is a chamber. It's a tube that's made of crystal. And there's a platform made of gold that's vented. Step into this chamber and the violet flame of Saint Germain comes shooting up from the ground and completely surrounds and embraces you. Violet flame come forth, 
Violet flame come forth. Violet flame come forth. By allowing yourself to be completely surrounded by the violet flame of Saint Germain, you are burning off any impurities. You are burning off any toxins. You are burning off the energy of promises that you made and didn't keep, whether they were things that you promised that you would do and you didn't, or things that you promised that you wouldn't do and you did. All is forgiven. At one point, the flame will go out. At that point, you can reemerge from this chamber and make your way over to your throne. Have a seat at your throne. You're about to receive some visitors. First, I want you to invite a guide, one of your guides, to come forth to meet you here in the Garden of Spirit, your Garden of Spirit. And they'll either have a message for you, a gift for you, or possibly both. Who is it that comes forth at this time? And what do they have for you? Thank them for joining you here. Next, I want you to invite forth someone who has crossed over that again, either has a message for you, a gift for you, or possibly both. Who is it that comes forth? Beautiful. Next, invite someone to come before you that either you have had a challenge forgiving or someone who has had a hard time forgiving you. See if you can find it within your heart to offer them the prayer of forgiveness or if what you need is for them to say this prayer to you. See if you can open your heart to receive the prayer. Once again, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Invite them to have a seat at your bench. And now, stepping down off your throne, make your way down the path in your garden to the door with the golden hinges. Open the door and you'll find yourself in a hallway. As you walk down the hallway, there's a room to your left with a round table and 12 chairs. And this is where you meet with your guides. As you walk further down the hallway, on your right are two enormous double doors. This is the place of planning where all souls come to plan their soul contracts with each other. As you continue to walk down the hall, 
you come upon a stand with a very large book upon it. And this is the book of your records of your existence. The book has been opened to a particular page and there is a message for you to receive. Allow yourself to receive this information from the book of your life. What is the message that is delivered for you this evening? When you've received your message, make your way back down the hallway to the door that leads to your garden. Close the door behind you. Say thank you to the guests that visited you here today. And know that this garden belongs to you and you can come back and visit any time. Go ahead and make your way back into the forest. The messages and the gifts that were given to you were meant for you. The forgiveness that may have been granted for you or for another was also a gift for you. Our path through this existence is to forgive ourselves and the mirrors that we have in others, to remind ourselves of our own divinity and to realize that this is all an illusion. Make your way past your tree to the edge of the forest. Take an inhale. And then with your exhale, allow yourself to find yourself once again seated where you began. I'm going to end with the sound of Om chanted three times. If you'd like to join me, you can bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Think loving thoughts of yourself and others. May your lips always speak loving words of yourself and others. And may your heart always contain the heart of love and compassion for yourself and others always. Namaste. Okay. I hope that was enjoyable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some channeling this evening. Um, hmm. The Egyptian goddess Hathor is going to be joining us. I'm going to bring her through for a bit and uh, see what it is that she has to say for us this evening. Greetings, beloveds. 
we are here with you in this dimension where you find yourselves in the midst of much turmoil, we are here to remind you that what you can do for yourselves as well as for others is to bring yourselves to places of balance, bring yourselves to places of peace, bring yourselves to places of love to remember your own hearts, to remember your own light. There have been many disruptions. There have been many passings. There have been many who have decided to cross over at this time. This, beloveds, was determined well before this point in your time-space continuum. Bless those who are crossing over and know that their choices were made. This may cause anguish, this may cause pain, this may cause saddest, sadness, this may cause a sense of shock for many. Some of you may find those closest to you have chosen to exit. There is such a profound restructuring that is happening in the shifting of dimensions, and many have chosen not to participate. Those of you who are here are the bringers of light to those around you. In order for you to maintain your light, you must quiet the chaos of your minds. The chaos ensues when you make choices that go against your heart. Stay connected to your hearts, dear ones. Try and quiet the minds. The watching of your news will only serve to stir the pot for you. Find time within your days to be silenced. Find time within your days to go within, to close your eyes and take your breath and allow yourselves to connect to the light of love that burns brightly within each of you. Each of you has within you a receiver, an antenna, if you will, that allows you to hear the frequency of the seeming whispers of spirit. You are constantly hearing whispers and murmurings that are pointing you in the direction of what would be your ascension. You must allow yourselves to tune into these voices for we are indeed here to assist you. Many have come, many more shall. For the shift that is occurring is profound. We have been speaking to many who have listened and they have been prepared. You yourselves are being prepared, dear ones. Some of you who may be with us now may make a choice to depart. Have peace with your decisions, dear ones. And know that it is all of love and it is all of light and it is all part of your ascension. You chose to come to be a part of this and it is indeed entertaining to watch 
what you have forgotten that you chose to be a part of. Allow yourself to smile, allow yourself to find joy in the midst of the chaos. This too shall pass, dear ones. All shall be righted. However, things will be quite different. We implore you to remember. Remember yourselves and remember these times. You need ask for our assistance and it is granted unto you. Call to any of us who are on the other side of the veil and we shall be there to assist you. We send you our love and we send you our blessings. Know that your light burns brightly, beloveds, and you need only ask, and we shall be there to help in ways beyond your imagination. We thank you for your time. We must depart. We give you blessings, greetings, and salutations. With divine love, we say, we will be with you again. Okay, I have one more for us. Mary Magdalene is here and she has some words that she would like to speak. So I'm gonna bring her in next. Mm. Whew. Greetings, beloveds. Our beloved sister Hathor. Graces us with her presence. Her messages of love speak on behalf of all who are here to assist you in these times of turmoil. Those of you who are with your families, those of you who struggle from being confined, those of you who find that being close with those for whom you are used to being apart from. Use this time to become reacquainted. Use this time to open your hearts to each other. Use this time to learn the language of love between you and those that you love. Use this time to know yourselves better. Use this time to spend solitude within. What is important to you? Who is important to you? How could you love yourselves more? How could you love those dear to you more? What would you say to your beloveds? If you knew they could hear you with an open heart, can you create an occasion for each of you to 
please speak words of truth, words of love. Can you use this divine opportunity to find ways to communicate with those that you have not spoken with for quite some time? Can you use this to your advantages? Find a way to show more love. Find a way to show more light. Find that light and that love within you and then show that to the world. Can you find a way to bless others as you have been blessed? For you truly have been blessed, dear ones. You have chosen to be here at this time. You have chosen to be part of this transformation that is occurring. This pause, this tender moment of beingness that allows each of you to share with each other your hearts from a place of gentleness, from a place of compassion, from a place of love. For each of you are connected. We are indeed connected, our hearts and our souls to each other. There is a beingness that exists so deeply within you. The Christ of being, that which my beloved brought forth as an example. Know that each of you has that same light within you. For truly, he is as you are. And this is and always has been his message of love. Go deep within, dear ones, and you will find that truth. Ask for help, ask for assistance. He will answer, as we all will. We are here to help you in your journeys of ascension. We are here to help awaken you into your remembrance of your truth, of your beingness, and of your light. We thank you for your attention. We thank you for your love. We love you. That is the truth of it. We do. Blessings upon each of you. We thank you for being with us. Know that we are always with you. Greetings and salutations, dear one. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being with us this evening. Oh, uh, we had the distinct joy of having Hathor join us and Mary Magdalene. And I hope that there were messages of love and peace and joy for each and every one of you. Hope that you enjoyed the meditation. I'll be doing another one on Sunday at 11 a.m. I send you all my love and I'll see you all soon. Namaste, everybody. Thanks for joining. Namaste.